Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Maribel. Hello, Armando. Hello, Adriana. Hello, Carla, Daniel, Xiomara, Stephanie, David, and Evis. How are you today? ¿Cómo están? How is it going? Fine, teacher. Okay, excellent. Right, are, bye. Are you ready to start? Uh, continue, we can say the section number one. Uh, we expect to, um, to finish the section number one by tomorrow and uh, start the section number two next week, okay? I want to remind you that next, uh, I mean, tomorrow we are going to have class. Uh, this uh, Friday and next Friday we are going to have class, okay? So I invite you to please don't forget and connect at uh, same time, okay? So uh, I would like to start by showing you the platform. Just give me a second. And I would like to ask you, did you enter in the platform? ¿Ingresaron ustedes a la plataforma? Yes. Yes, teacher. Everything okay? No problem? No, no, no problem. problem. Okay, excellent. So let me just uh, project and show you which part we are going to work tonight. Uh, let me go to Snowlet Check 1.4 and then start with 1.5 until 1.8. Okay, so just let me wait just a second in order that it can upload. Okay, okay, uh, did you solve this uh, the Snowlet Check uh, 1.4? ¿Lo chequeamos ya? Eh, ¿Trabajamos ya esta opción? Sí, teacher. Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, lo vamos a rehacer con ustedes. Vamos a dejar una. Porque lo queremos ir explicando. Deme un segundo. No sé por qué razón ya me lo marcó. Pero quiero que lo trabajemos para asegurarme que se comprendió el contenido anterior. Okay. Okay, we are going to come back to this. Vamos a trabajar este posteriormente. Eh, voy a regresar a la sección 5. Okay, the lesson objective, objective 1.5 says by the end of this class you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Okay, we are going to study irregular verbs. Vamos a estudiar los verbos irregulares. Eh, there is a list. I will send you a list. Le voy a enviar una lista, ¿verdad? Eh, en el grupo de WhatsApp. For you to have it, para que ustedes la tengan. Because you will need to learn them by heart. Van a necesitar aprenderse, la verdad. So, eh, in the 1.6, we are going to study simple present statements with irregular verbs. So, that's why we need to learn the difference between regular and irregular verbs. I will send you the, the material. And we have eh, the knowledge check that later we will come back. Después vamos a regresar. Solo quiero conectar ahorita eh, el, los temas con la presentación que les traigo. Okay. Last night we were studying about the simple present. And I projected this and I explained that eh, we have a special uh, rule for the third person singular. Tenemos una regla especial, ¿verdad? Para la tercera persona del singular. Eh, you say, I walk to school. You ride your bike to school. He works near here. She takes the bus to work. We live with our parents. They use public transportation. Notice here that we say he works. She takes. We add a letter S. And when we need to have a negative answer, we use don't and we use doesn't for he, she, and it. I say, I don't live far from here. You don't live near here. He doesn't work. She doesn't drive to work. We don't live alone. They don't need a car. So basically the structure is here. Uh, what do we have is the subject, he, she, it, or the child for the third person, and we add a letter S to the base form of the verb, and we say, 
he works, she likes, it has, the child swims, okay? And the complement, uh, he works hard, she likes chocolate, it has a dog, the child swims very well. And then we add a letter S to the base form when the subject is he, she, it, or other singular noun. In this case, remember that have is a special verb similar to the verb be, and they have a special form, has, with, he, she, or it. Okay, here, you can notice that I have conjugated the verb it, and everything is the same, and only changes for he, it's, she, it's, it, it's, it doesn't eat, she doesn't eat, it, he doesn't eat, okay? So we add an S uh, to the uh, verb, and in the case of doesn't, uh, plus add S or for the affirmative, and for the negatives, doesn't plus the infinitive. Okay, so here's the rule. Uh, we don't use don't or doesn't to make a negative sentence in the simple present tense. I mean, we use, right? Utilizamos el auxiliar eh, don't, ¿verdad? O el auxiliar doesn't para hacer una oración en negativo en el presente simple. La, es, la única excepción, the only exception is when we use the verb be. Cuando utilizamos el verbo to be o los modales can, que decimos cannot, um, y en el caso de be, ya sabemos que tenemos eh, am, is, are, ¿verdad? Y que el negativo es I am not, he, she, it, is not, or isn't, so if we contract, or we, uh, in the other uh, subjects, we, you, and they, uh, are not, or aren't. Okay, here the structure is I, you, we, and they don't go. He, she, it doesn't like, or he, she doesn't want, or doesn't go. So how is the structure? For the affirmative, you speak English. For the negative, you don't speak English. Notice that when we have here um, a subject different from the he, uh, she, it, we don't have to add the letter S. But when we have an affirmative sentence, we need to add the letter S to he, she, or it. He speaks English. For the negative, for the negative, we only add doesn't. And the verb, the main verb in this case, speak, remains the same. He doesn't speak English. Okay, be careful. We don't say, I don't live in Japan. We say, I don't live in Japan. We say, she has a cat, but we don't say, she doesn't have a cat, porque aquí tenemos ya el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Doesn't. Entonces, has, no es necesario, nos queda have. She doesn't have a cat. Okay, in this case, when we are going to have a negative, cuando vamos a hacer un negativo, no decimos, you don't to speak. No, decimos, you don't speak. We don't add to, no le, no le agregamos to, ¿verdad? Sino que solo en la forma base del verbo. And remember that the contractions don't is equal to the full form do not. The contraction doesn't is equal to the full form does not. Here we have some examples. In the simple present tense, negative statements, we have subject plus don't or doesn't, plus the verb, plus the complement. I don't work on Sundays. She doesn't eat seafood. They don't speak Spanish. Larry doesn't live in New York. Okay, so before we go to the exercise, I want to stop sharing. Le voy a dejar de compartir, and I want to share a new presentation that I have for you with the spelling rules. Okay, these spelling rules are key. Estas reglas son importantes, ¿verdad? Because they tell us how to write uh, the verbs with the third person singular. Estas reglas básicamente nos dicen cómo se escribe o cómo se hace o cómo se forma la tercera persona, ¿verdad? Eh, en presente, cómo le, que si le agrego es 
I E S or just S. For example, for the verbs that end in double S, miss, he misses, S H, finish, he finishes, C H, watch, he watches, X, mix, he mixes, O, go, he goes. For the verbs that end in a consonant plus Y, D, Y, consonant Y. So we change the Y for an I and add ES. Cambiamos la Y por Y latina y agregamos ES. He studies. I cry, he cries. In the case of the verbs that end in a vowel plus Y, vocal más Y, like play, he plays. I just add the letter S. So here I have more examples. <clears throat> Aquí tenemos más ejemplos, ¿verdad? And I would like that you can send this image uh, to the group. Vamos a enviar esta imagen al grupo in order that you can solve the next exercise para poder trabajar en el siguiente ejercicio. So let me send you. Okay. Okay, there you go. Here we have more examples of the general rule of adding the letter S. Work, works. I work, he, she, it works. I eat, he, she, it eats. I play, he, she, it plays. I swim, he, she, it swims. I write, he, she, it writes. I study, he, she, it studies. I cry, he, she, it cries. I try, he, she, it tries. I spy, he, she, it spies. I fly, he, she, it flies. I go, he, she, it goes. I wash, he, she, he, she it washes. I watch, he, she, it watches. I mix, he, she, it mixes. I kiss, he, she, it kisses. Okay. Let me stop sharing and then go back to the exercise that I have for you tonight. Vamos a ir al ejercicio que les traje esta noche. And basically the exercise is about uh, writing. Okay, so I would like that you can take a picture. Okay, si podemos tomar un screenshot, si no yo se los mando. Okay, so let me... Okay, I would like that you can complete this exercise. Eh, si podemos completar este ejercicio, we are going to work in the breakout rooms. Vamos a trabajar en los breakout rooms ahora. And the idea is that you can take these verbs and match with the right uh, sentence. Vamos a, a, a unir el verbo con la oración que le corresponde. Read, does, walk, do, watches, eat, have, travel, don't, see, uh, sings, drinks, doesn't. Do we have questions? Tenemos preguntas? De lo que vamos a hacer. Básicamente es completar, ¿verdad? Los espacios con los verbos que ya están dados ahí. So the key is to look for the subject. La clave está en identificar quién es el sujeto de la oración, ¿verdad? ¿Es posible si, que vuelva a poner la pantalla anterior? Sí, con mucho gusto. Ahorita, en este momento. En este momento, ahorita. Ahí está. Can you watch it? ¿La podemos ver? Gracias. Ok, you're welcome. Ok, I'm going to stop sharing. Entonces vamos a responder el ejercicio utilizando los verbos que están in the box, en el cuadro, ¿verdad? So let me stop sharing and let me open the breakout rooms. So I'm creating the groups and I will ask you to please join. Estoy creando los, los salones y les pediría si por favor se pueden unir. ¿Verdad?
If you have any problem, let me know. Si tenemos algún problema, me lo hacen saber. Uh, my dear Nelson and Yesenia, do you have problem joining the group? Nelson y Yesenia, ¿no les ha llegado la invitación? ¿O han tenido algún problema con el internet? If that's the case, you let me know. Si ese es el caso, me lo hacen saber y lo reasigno a otro grupo, ¿verdad? If you are... Es el, es el internet. Ok, no se preocupe, hagamos lo siguiente. Eh, vamos a quedarnos acá, ¿verdad? Y tratar de resolver el ejercicio. Nada más tenemos tres minutos para eso, ¿sí? I will go around. Yo voy a estar eh, visitando los grupos, así que me le voy a desaparecer un momento. But, but you can stay here. Usted puede quedarse acá. Voy a mover a la persona que estaba con ustedes para el otro grupo. So she won't be alone. Así que ella pueda trabajar con otro grupo. Quiero ver. Sería do you like, ¿verdad? Sí, Porque do you like. es, quiero ver. Ajá, eh, sería. Una pregunta. Con... Uh -huh. Y sería do nada más. Do you like to study the English? Y le responde yes, I do. Yo lo hago. My father. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, Hello Maritza, how are you? Can you hear me? Hola Maritza, ¿me puede escuchar? Hello Maritza. Can you hear me? I would like to invite you to the, another breakout room. Me gustaría moverla a otro salón because your classmate couldn't join. Su compañero o compañera no se pudo unir, ¿verdad? So I would like to invite you uh, to another breakout room. Me gustaría invitarla a otro salón. <coughs> Mr. Smith always sería always drinks drinks uh -huh. sí. tea in the afternoon la nueve Me drink. Uh, oh. 
A. Do you like to study English? B. Yes, I do. Yes. Hello, Hazel. How is it going? Can you hear me? We are in a, a group practice, so people is coming to is coming back from the practice practice in a couple of minutes. Company, so I can't walk to work. Sí, pienso que esa es uh, number eight. Mr. Smith always uh, uh, drink. Um, ¿Dónde está el drink? Say I don't a pen. Eh, está hablando que no tiene lapicero, pero podría, por favor, prestarme su lapicero. No tengo con quién escribir, tiene que ser escribir. Uh -huh. Don't. No. Think, think, doesn't, don't travel, have, eat, watch, do. Sí. Work, don't read. Ah, read don't, la imagino, read. tengo idea. I don't have, chicos, I don't have, ahí va el verbo have. Sí. I don't have. I don't have a pen. No tengo un bolígrafo. No, okay. uh, I, I, I please borrow your pen? Es como puedo tomar prestado tu bolígrafo. Ajá, puedo tomar tu lapicero. Yes. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, my dear. I'll call you back in a minute. Lo llamo en un minutito, okay? Okay. Continue, please. Excellent. Good job. People is coming back from the exercise and we are going to stay together in a couple of seconds to solve the, the exercise as you did. So I will need, let's see. Yeah, we have um, 11 volunteers. We will need 11 volunteers to complete. Vamos a necesitar 11 voluntarios to complete the exercise. So let's wait for all of you to come back. Okay. Okay, they're coming back. Okay, who would like to solve number two? A quien le gustaría resolver la número dos? How did you solve it? Como la resolvieron? I often read the books in my free time. Okay, I will write it with capitals, uh, but remember that it's only for uh, better view purposes. Lo voy a escribir en rojo, ¿verdad? Y en mayúscula, capitals, only for you to see, para que la puedan ver, ¿verdad? Pero recuerden que eso no es lo usual en medio de una oración. 
Okay, number three. You like to study English. Volunteer for number three. Do you like to study English? Do you like to study English? And the answer? Yes, I do, right? Yes, I do. Okay, very good. So let me go with number four. My father always. My father always sings. My father always sings songs in the shower. Yeah, and we add the letter S, right? Yeah, because we are talking about my father and my father is he. So we add the letter S and says sing. sing. Excellent. Number five. Volunteer for number five. Uh, does you like work on Saturday? No, she doesn't. No, she doesn't, right? Because we are talking about she. So the negative is doesn't. Very good. And Julie is a third person. Okay, number six. Volunteer for number six. Would you like to travel to Hawaii on, on our next holiday? Excuse me. Do you like to? Could you repeat? Do you like to? Travel. 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 Okay. Do you like to travel to Hawaii on our next holiday? Excellent. It doesn't have an S because we are talking about you, right? Ahí no aplica la regla porque estamos hablando de you. Okay, number seven. I live close to my company so I can... I can walk, walk to work. Walk, walk to work. Excellent. It doesn't apply the rule. Tampoco le aplicamos la regla de la tercera persona porque estoy hablando de I, ¿verdad? I es la first person singular, la primera persona del singular. Ok, let's see. Mr. Smith always drinks. drinks. Always drinks. Tea in the afternoon. Very good. My classmate, my, uh, so here we apply the rule because we are talking about he, so it's a third person. What about my classmate? My classmate? Watches. Watches, okay, it's a third person, so we add the rule, watches, his favorite TV show after class. Okay, very good. I'm sorry, I? I don't. I don't. Right, because we are talking about I, so it's I don't have time to talk to you now. 11, volunteer for number 11. Dolphin. Dice. Excuse me? Dot. Dice. Okay, does your cousin, because I'm talking about she, does your cousin have a job? Yes, she does. And the last one. How is the last one? Who can tell me? I don't have a pen. I don't have a pen. Could I please borrow your pen? Excellent. You did a great job, my dear participants. You complete the exercise, uh, choosing the right verbs, and then I'm going to stop sharing and I will go to the platform because I want you to complete it. Me gustaría que la completemos, ¿verdad? And that we analyze the answer. Sobre todo que anal analicemos la respuesta. If you already solved it, it's okay. And I like that because we need to complete this week section uh, number one. Esta semana vamos a completar todo lo que sería la sección uno, ¿verdad? Así es de que les pido que completemos todos estos knowledge checks. Quien ya los hizo, congratulations. Y quien no, pues ahorita lo resolvemos, ¿verdad? Juntos, together. And then we are advancing in the platform. So my family and I in the suburbs. When I say my family and I, who is the subject? Cuando digo mi familia y yo, ¿quién es el sujeto? Live. We, ¿verdad? We, es we. Porque estamos hablando de my family and I. We, nosotros, we. So according to the rule, de acuerdo a la regla que acabamos de estar practicando, is live or lives? Live. Live. Live, ¿verdad? Porque no es he, ni she, ni it. Ok, me quiero okay. detener con ese verbo. Cuando lo estamos utilizando como verbo, decimos live. 
I live in San Salvador. I live yeah. in Santa Ana. I live in San Miguel. I live in La Unión. Es una, eh, live, live. Pero live. ustedes habrán escuchado el famoso live. Y eh, es cierto, ¿verdad? Se dice, eh, se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente. El famoso Facebook Live se escribe así, live, y se dice live. Pero cuando decimos live, estamos hablando de un adjective, que significa en vivo, ¿verdad? O en directo. Así decimos Larry King's show uh, live, el show de Larry King en vivo, ¿verdad? Facebook Live, the president's uh, speech on Facebook Live, el discurso del presidente en Facebook Live, y ahí sí se pronuncia live. Cuando es un adjetivo que significa la actividad en vivo, ¿verdad? Pero cuando me refiero al verbo vivir en un lugar, eh, digo live, ¿ok? Para que tengamos mucho cuidado al momento de pronunciar. Ok, my wife and I near here. Work or work? Work. 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 Because my wife and I are we, ¿verdad? Somos nosotros. Entonces la regla no aplica. It doesn't apply. So we walk or walks? Work. So we work. Walk. Work. Vea que eso suena como el, como el China walk. Así exactamente suena. Walk. La L walk. No, no suena. Es walk. Caminar. Walk. So we walk to work. Aquí estamos hablando de we, entonces la regla de la tercera persona no aplica, ¿verdad? No le agregamos eso. Our daughter Emily downtown. What? Works, ¿verdad? Work, work. Works. Porque ahí sí, estamos hablando de she. Emily es she. Es a lady en singular third person. So she. Drive or drives? Drive. Drive or drive. drive. Drives. ¿Verdad? With the letter S. Ahí sí le agregamos la letra S porque estamos hablando de she. Okay. Our son. Our son don't or doesn't. Doesn't. Done. Doesn't drive. Doesn't drive. Because we are talking about third person. Okay. He. <laughs> rides or ride? Rides. 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 Cool. Because we are talking about he, so we add the third person rule. Okay. Com conversation number two. My parents live or live? Live. 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 Live, ¿verdad? Porque son they. My parents are they. Son una tercera persona, pero no es singular, es plural. Entonces no aplica la regla de la letra S. My mother are trying to work. Take or takes? Takes. Takes, because takes. I'm talking about she, singular. My father is retired, so he doesn't work or don't work now. Does. Doesn't work now. Doesn't. Because it's he, right? He also use or uses public, uses. 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 public transportation. We are talking about third person. They don't need a car or they doesn't need a car. Don't. They don't, don't need a car. Because we are talking about they, so it doesn't apply the third person singular rule. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Great job. You did it. Lo hicieron, ¿verdad? Entonces, that's what we expect. Eso es lo que esperamos tener en todos los knowledge, ¿verdad? Que lo, lo discutamos, lo analizamos y se completa y se envía. Ok, uh, I already introduced that. Ya les presenté eso. You have to go to the video. Tenemos que ir al video. Eh, voy a, a regresar después a la presentación para hablar acerca de los verbos irregulares. But basically, I want you to answer that. Vamos a contestar el, el 1.7 knowledge check, ¿ok? Uh, again, it's very similar, es bien similar. My parents, it complete the sentences and select the correct form of the verb. My parents, have, have or has? Have. have. Have, because they are they, ¿verdad? My mom and dad, goes or go? Go. 
Go. go because go. my mom and dad are they, my parents. Vea que my mom and dad es otra forma de decir my parents, solo que los menciono separado, pero al final el sujeto es they. My parents are very busy, so I do or does do. a lot of work. Do. Do. do, do, do. Do a lot of work, ¿verdad? Porque estoy hablando de I, de, de, de mi persona, ¿verdad? Singular. Pero no es tercera persona, es yo, la primera persona. My brother doesn't live with us. He, an apartment in the city. Have or has? Has. 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 Third person singular. Okay. Has. He, to school all day. Goes or go? Goes. Goes. Go. Oh, goes. 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 Okay. And he, his homework at night. Do or does? Does. 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 We are talking about he, third person singular. Okay. Uh, I have or has a new friend? Uh, have. I, I have, have a new friend. Okay. His name is Jason. We go or go? Go. 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 Or go, but go. 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 We go to go. the same school. And sometimes we do or does? Do. Go. We do our homework. Go. Together because we are talking about we. So I send it and mm -hmm. I say, Yes, you did it. Great job. Okay. Excellent. Okay, vamos a dejar de compartir. Stop sharing this. And I want you to watch this list. Les tengo una presentación que tenía una lista. Solo denme un segundo. Deme un minutito, que les tengo una lista. So, show you. Ok. Ok. Basically, uh, these are the irregular verbs. Aquí tenemos los verbos irregulares, ¿verdad? Eh, en una de estas clases lo vamos, a, lo vamos a repasar un poquito más a profundidad. But what I want you to, do, to know is that they have to be learned by heart. You have to learn, you have to memorize all of them. Todos estos los tenemos que memorizar, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué razón? Why? Because eh, they are irregular and they have a different base form, a different simple, uh, simple past and a different participle. Y son totalmente diferentes, ¿verdad? No es como los regulares, that you know, that you add ed. En los regulares sabemos que agregamos ed al past simple. And the participle is the same. Y el participio es el mismo. But in, in irregular verbs, no, that's completely different. Es diferente, ¿verdad? So we need to learn them by heart. Nos los tenemos que aprender de memoria. So I will share with you a list. Te voy a compartir una lista. And I invite you to continue It learning at least, um, I can say five or at least three, por lo menos tres verbos en la semana, ¿verdad? You say, awake, awoke, awoken, and you look for the meaning, y buscan el significado, and then you write a sentence uh, with that meaning, ¿ok? Y busca una oración con ese, con ese significado. B, you already know it, but let's imagine that this is another verb, so you have, the challenge to learn at least three verbs per week. Pongámonos la meta de aprendernos al menos tres verbos por semana, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Por qué tres por semana? Porque estamos hablando de que son nueve, ¿verdad? Tres por tres, nueve, porque tenemos base form, past, eh, simple past, participle, and the meaning y el significado. Ok, uh, let's... Oops. I have them here. Okay, okay, this is the one. Okay, uh, I have here the other exercise. Tenemos aquí otro ejercicio, which is about the same. It's, it's similar, it's bien similar, ¿verdad? But in this case, it says, uh, questions about your classmates are S, ES, or IES. 
interview a classmate and answer the questions about him or her. Use the correct verb endings in your answer. ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a entrevistar a una compañera o compañero y vamos a utilizar la forma correcta del verbo que utilicemos, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere puede tomar una, una imagen de los verbos que teníamos o usted look it up in a dictionary o busca los verbos que va a utilizar, ¿verdad? The question is, where does he or she live? Entonces, ¿cómo voy a contestar? If you ask me, teacher, uh, where, where do you live? Entonces, pero no voy a contestar, you live in, sino que digo, she, la teacher, ¿verdad? She lives in a papa, ¿verdad? Entonces, el live lo cambio a la forma correcta de tercera persona. What time does he or, or she usually go to bed at night? Pregúntele a su compañero. What time, cuando le pregunta, obviamente, cómo se va a dirigir a él, le va a decir, What time does, do you usually go to bed at night? Porque le estoy preguntando a ti, pero cuando escribo la respuesta, porque estoy hablando de él, digo, she, she usually goes to bed at 10 p.m. Okay? So question, what time does he usually get up in the morning? What does uh, he or she watch on TV? Where does he or she study English? Okay? Okay. Ok, I would like that you can take a screenshot. Eh, me gustaría que si por favor le tomamos una, una, ima, una captura de pantalla, a screenshot. And this is our next exercise in order to make sure that we work with the third person. Ok. I will send it to you now. And let's go back to the breakout rooms. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Your picture is better than mine. <laughs> okay. Let me open the breakout rooms again. And I will do some changes for people that have problem by adding. Okay. My dear Hazel, can you hear me? Buenas noches, Hazel. If you have a problem joining the group, let me let me know, please. Si tenemos algún problema eh, uniéndonos al grupo, nos comenta.
I, I usually go to the bed at uh, 10 p.m. Entonces sería, he usually goes to the bed at 10 p.m. At 10 p.m. Uh -huh, 10 o'clock. Yes. Uh -huh. Excellent, very good. Entonces, me pregunto. La tercera sería, ¿verdad? Sí. What time does he? He usually out in the morning. Hello, Hazel, can you hear me? I see that your classmates couldn't join you. Hazel, me gustaría invitarla a otro grupo porque los compañeros veo que no se unieron. ¿Le parece que la mueva? No sé si logra escuchar. Hello, sí. Hello, mire, qué pena que los compañeros no, por alguna razón, no se han unido. Entonces, la voy a mover a otro grupo para que pueda participar. ¿Le parece? Ok. Ok, sí, thank, gracias. thank you, sorry. Ok, let me move you now. usted tendría que eh, decir where do you live porque está preguntándole a la está preguntándole a ella ¿verdad? pero si por, por ejemplo si dijéramos where does eh, the teacher live ahí estamos hablando de ella entonces cuando usted pregunta tendría que preguntar where does no perdón where do you live por ejemplo porque le está preguntando a Xiomara. O por ejemplo, si me está preguntando a mí, usted me va a decir, where do you live? Uh -huh. Ajá. Y, y la tercera persona cuando le está preguntando, por ejemplo, si usted le pregunta a Xiomara de mí, vea. Where does Adriana live? Ahí sí, vea. En vez de poner he, en vez de poner he o she, usted sustituye por mi nombre. Cuando le está preguntando a ella, por ejemplo, where does Adriana live? Pero si me está preguntando a mí, usted a mí, se tendría que hacer, where do you live? ¿Dónde vive? Ah, ok. Y, no, 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 y estaba pronunciando el chi, ¿verdad? Ajá, 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 cabal. Ya le, ya le entendí. ¿Cómo está practico de nuevo? Thank you. Thank you, Adriana. Very good explanation. Muy buena explicación, Adriana. <laughs> Great. Eh, así es como Adriana dice, ¿verdad? Solo que cuando ustedes presenten la información en el grupo, van a decir, Adriana, eh, por ejemplo, vamos a hacer la número uno. Adriana lives in. Adriana usually goes to bed at. ¿Sí? O pueden decir eh, she, ¿verdad? Pero normalmente usamos el nombre de la persona de quien estamos hablando. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? okay. Okay. ¿Sí? Okay. Pero ahorita que la va a entrevistar, le va a decir, Adriana, where do you live? Y ella le va a decir, I live in San Salvador. Pero usted anota, Adriana lives in San Salvador. Entonces, cuando hablamos allá en la plenary session, usted lo presenta y dice, I want to talk about my friend Adriana. Adriana lives in San Salvador, she goes to bed at Tarará, and then continues. ¿Sí? No sé si me doy a entender. Entonces puedo preguntar, en A1 podría preguntar, where does Adriana live? No, como le está preguntando, lo que le decía Adriana, como le está preguntando directamente a ella, le va a decir, where do you live? Pero para Ay. tomar sus notas, usted va a hablar de ella. Adriana lives in San Salvador. 
Y cuando, oh. ya, cuando ya hable de ella con terceros, va, va a hablar así. Adriana lives in San Salvador. Adriana gets up at 6 a.m., etc. Ah, ok. ¿Sí? sí. Es, eso espero que. Sí. Ok. Excelente. Okay. See you later. Gracias. Bye. At night, at ten, ten and a half of PM. Mm -hmm. Hello, Evelyn, can you hear me? Hola, Evelyn, ¿puede escucharme? Hola, sí la escucho. Hello, I apologize because we have been trying to join your classmates. Me disculpo porque hemos estado tratando de unir a sus compañeros, pero de verdad que han tenido dificultades de internet y han estado bastante inestables, se han salido de las sesiones. So I apologize, mm. así que lo siento, but we are about to finish the, the exercise, that's why I won't move you to any other group. Ya vamos a terminar la sesión, ¿verdad? Por eso no la muevo a otro grupo. Okay. So we are going to Bye, the plenary. Sorry, I apologize. Lo siento que no se pudieron unir. Bye, está bien, no hay problema. Thank you. Hello, welcome back. We are about to finish the practice. So people is coming back to share the short conversations using third person. Okay, so I would like to ask uh, who completed at least one or two questions. Me gustaría preguntar quienes lograron completar al menos dos o tres preguntas that you would like to share. A alguien que a algún equipo que quiera compartir. Vamos a ver, voluntarily, if not. Si no, vamos a hacer Team Marín, ¿verdad? <laughs> Let's see, vamos a ver. People is coming back, so just wait for us a couple of minutes or seconds. Okay, I don't know if uh, Daniel's team, el equipo de Daniel, no sé si lo hacer una o dos preguntas. Dani? Le voy a preguntar a, le voy a preguntar a Daniel. Okay, please. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, Daniel, where do you live? Uh, I am San Martin. I live. I live in San Martin. I live in San Martin. Okay. Okay. Um, Daniel, what time do you usually go to bed at night? Uh, 10 p.m. Okay. At 10 p.m. Very good. Do you have any other questions? Um, what uh, uh, Daniel, what time uh, do you usually get up in the morning? Uh, um, I, I five p.m. I, I five a.m. At five a.m. Okay, excellent, very good. Thank you. Thank you, my dears. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if we have another team. Tenemos otro equipo que haya logrado avanzar con algunas preguntas. Let's see. El equipo de Brenda Valladares. Hello. Hello, Brenda. Would you like to share a couple of questions? Yes. Okay. With, with Carla Bolaños. Okay, Carla, Carlita, and Brenda. 
Hi. Hi, Carlita. Number three. What time do you usually get up in the morning, Carlita? I get up uh, for. I get up for a.m. At 4 a.m., okay. On number four, what, what do you watch on TV, Carlita? I watch movies. Okay. Okay. Um, where do you study English? English. Where? Where? Do? Yes, 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 I am. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I study. Yes, English. I do study English. Okay, excellent. Puede ser yes, I do hasta ahí, verdad? O oh, yes, okay. I study English. I study English. Okay. Very good. Excelente. Entonces vamos a ver. Um, si yo tuviera que hablar de Carlita, por ejemplo, yo diría. Carlita Mirón usually gets up at 4 a.m. in the morning. Mm -hmm. eh, Carlita eh, watches movies on TV. And Carlita studies English. ¿Se fija? Entonces ahí yo ya voy cambiando el verbo y le pongo gets up, ¿verdad? En este caso, como es un two-word verb, es un verbo de dos palabras, le agrego la S a la primera parte del verbo, ¿sí? Gets up. Y se une para pronunciarlo. Gets up. Eh, watches, watches TV, she studies, aquí cambio la Y por I latina y agrego ES. Yeah. Goes, eh, por ejemplo yo diría Carlita usually goes to bed at 10 eh, p.m. at night. Estoy imaginando, porque eso no se lo preguntamos a Carlita, pero estoy así, usando el, el ejemplo. Eh, y luego digo Carlita lives in San Salvador. ¿Verdad? Se fijan, cuando yo ya hablo de Carlita, que es una tercera persona, yo agrego eh, necesariamente la regla, ¿verdad? El es, y es, o I, y es, according to the rule, de acuerdo a las reglas que aprendimos, ¿verdad? Ok, my dear participant, because of the time, thank you very much for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow, and tomorrow we are going to complete the next eh, em, now let's check in order that we finish section number one, okay? Good night. Take care. Bye -bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good, Good night, everybody. Bye. Everybody, bye-bye.